Greetings everyone and welcome to my Let's Play series. And today's episode is episode 29, so let's just jump right into it. I think on today's episode, we're going to expand our farms to be able to have more crops, to be able to make better food than baked potatoes or cucumber salads. Because cucumber salads don't give much anymore, and baked potatoes don't give enough saturation for us to heal up quickly when we're inside of any battle. So, what I've done here is, I've planted some corn, because corn is going to be required for, um, uh, for what we're going to make. We are going to be making the southern style breakfast. It is a massive, massive, um, top tier food. So, it requires quite a bit for us to be able to make it as a whole so we're going to jump right into the requirements here so let's look over the recipe we have the biscuits and gravy the biscuit and the gravy itself which isn't too difficult it's just dough and butter and that just pretty much requires salt flour the mixing bowl and water and then you've got the butter itself which just requires heavy cream salt and a saucepan so then you head over to the um gravy and it's just stock and flour it's pretty easy. And then you have biscuits and gravy, which in and of itself is already a good meal to have. So then next, we're taking it to the next level, and we're going to make grits. So grits is the cornmeal, which is just corn and a mortar and pedestal. You're just going to grind it up. And then it requires some milk, some salt, some water, and a pot. And so then after that, it's pretty much growing, having pigs, having eggs, and making toast, which is pretty easy. So what we're doing for that is we're growing some carrots because we need carrots to be able to get our pigs to breed. So let's go check out the two pigs we caught already. And let's uh, let's let them, you know, do what they got to do. There they go. They love each other. And out pops my XP and the little baby. So our pig population is going to keep growing. We'll come back to that though. So also something else we need to focus on getting for this particular meal is toast which is pretty easy because it's just going to require bread and butter so what I plan to do is I'm going to grow lots of wheat we already have lots of wheat up and running as you can see we can just harvest it right up and be good to go so what I want to do is expand on this every area that we need for this I want to make sure that it's up and running and has what it needs so what I was thinking about doing is putting in raised beds over here having raised beds for corn having raised bed for carrots having a raised bed for all the things we're gonna need for not only this recipe but I think in the future we'll make some of these other recipes there are some that are even higher than the southern style breakfast like the corned beef breakfast I think I'll eventually get to that because it is a 13 32 recipe that is insane and amazing all at the same time so either go big or go home right and that's exactly what we're going to do on today's episode we're going to make several of these southern style breakfasts and we're going to try to have a stack of 64 of them on hand to keep us going because i'm not sure what those buffs can do but we're certainly going to find out so let's uh go in the house and see what we can well let's start by grabbing some milk we can always use some milk for the heavy cream and for a few other parts of the recipe. That's pretty easy. You're just going to take a bucket, right click on a cow. We now have milk. Do those buckets stack? They do not. But that's okay. So let's go down here. We have our kitchen set up now. We've modified it a little bit to make it a little bit better. So we take our fresh milk here and we go just like that. We got, we got eight buckets of fresh milk which we'll put with the other fresh milk we've made I just want to show you how that's made so we're going here and let's start out by making some of the salt we need salt is actually free for us because we have an infinite water supply due to our sink and because we have the pan or the pot needed to be able to make it so if you just shift click on it you'll get a full stack in your inventory of it so that is pretty awesome so we'll go in here into our cabinet and we'll put our salt in there now what we'll also do is we'll take tack this wheat in there that we just got which is pretty nice and you'll also notice we have some carrots so the carrots we're going to be using for mostly for the pigs just to make sure that they're going to be okay and then we'll work on getting the other ingredients we need so let's 
keep going from there. So we know we needed salt. We needed salt for the butter. We needed salt for the toast. We needed salt for several of the things out there. So let's look into what's next for us. So under our breakfast here, we're going to um, start with, let's start with the biscuits and gravy as a breakdown here. So we're going to make biscuits first. So for the biscuits, we're going to need butter and dough. And then the bakeware, of course, but that's that's not an issue here. So if you take that dough and you mix it with flour and salt and a mixing bowl. So let's let's make some flour too. And we make our flour with a mortar and pedestal and wheat. Simplest way to make it. So let's scroll down here until we see flour. And then we're going to try to make a stack of 64. Bam, we have flour now. So let's put that in our cabinet. Bam. We have a lot of flour. So now the dough recipe has showed up in our menu. And so we're going to select it. And since we already have our salt, we already have our flour, we have an infinite supply of water, we have an unbreaking mixing bowl. Boom. We have a full stack of dough. Let's throw that in our fridge. You know, we've got to keep it chilled. So let's go in here. And let's continue to look at what we're making here. So we made um, the dough for biscuits and gravy. Now we need to make the butter so that we can make the biscuit itself. So let's see what the butter takes. It requires heavy cream, a saucepan, and salt. So let's go get some more milk. And I'll be back once I've got enough milk to make this full recipe. Now I wanted to explain this before I got too far here. So when you're taking the milk from a cow, you can, in a lot of recipes, you can use the milk straight out of the bucket, mm. or Pam's will break it down into four uh, fresh milk containers for you, which will increase the amount of milk that you have by a multiple of four. So it will give you more milk to use the Pam's Harvest Craft milk than it will to use the regular bucket of milk, which I'm okay with, by all means. Let's save uh, time and effort and or the amount of buckets that we need. Now I could have also used my milk jar here, but it's not near my cows and I haven't made the cow in a jar yet, which is very, very good. I just haven't done so yet. So let's take our fresh milk and let's throw it right here in the fridge because of course you should always keep it chilled. So now we have our fresh milk. We need to turn that into heavy cream. So to turn that into heavy cream, it's gonna require fresh milk and a mixing bowl. So we already have both. So let's make our stack. We have now made a stack of our heavy cream. And so our heavy cream should be thrown right there in the fridge because we got to keep it at a, at a good temperature so that it won't spoil. Okay, so after that, after the heavy cream that we need for, um, for the butter right there, we just need to make sure we have enough salt. Do we have enough salt? Let's check. Nope, we don't have enough salt. So let's make a full another stack of salt. Like I said, salt is free. So we can make an infinite supply of it. And there we go. We made a full stack of salt. So now, as you can see, the butter has appeared in the menu and we have access to it. So let's make up a full stack of butter. Let's put that butter in the fridge where it belongs. Okay. So now, it actually opened up a ton of recipes by activating that butter, which is just fine. And... We need to now think about what we're gonna do next. Oh, I can even make mayo. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Oh, I don't have the juicer yet. That'll be on the list at some point. But anyway, let's get right back into it. So we need to make that gravy. Right here, as you can see, we click on the gravy. It's gonna require stock. Stock's pretty easy. It requires pretty much any type of um, vegetable mixed with a pot and or you can use meat to make stock as well. Depends on what type of stock you're gonna make. I mean, in the real world there's a difference, but in the game there's not really a difference. So we need a stack of some sort of fruit. But hold on a second, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna take a short nap and get some rest. And we'll be back at the daytime. So here we are, back in the daytime. We're heading out real quick to grab a full stack of some sort of vegetable we have, which we definitely have plenty of those. So, we've harvested a ton of vegetables over the time, and we even have a ton of cucumbers. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Here's where we have a lot of vegetables. I don't know if we can make stock out of lettuce. Um, in fact, let's try to make stock out of lettuce here. 
We have plenty of zucchinis, some cucumbers. Oh, it'll work. Zucchinis will work because it's a multiplier of three. Ooh, our corn's ready. Let's harvest that real quick. There we go. Let's head back inside. Let's go down here. Go to our place here. And we'll put those in there. So now we have plenty of zucchinis, cucumbers, all that kind of stuff. Let's see if we can make our stock out of those. I can even make cornflakes. That is amazing. So let's find our stock here. Ew, seed soup. So we need to pick one that's not going to use the carrot. So we need to take the carrots out because, excuse me, because we don't want to use them for this right now. We want to save them for later because they are valuable. So go down here to our stock. Oh, and it will use the lettuce. Very, very nice. So now, wow, we made a lot of stock there. Let's throw our stock in the fridge here. And then let's look at what we need next. We needed that stock for the gravy to mix with the flour. Let's see, do we still have flour? We do not. We need to make some more flour. It's pretty easy. Go down to our flour. It wants to use our corn. Pull our corn out of this thing again. We need to save that for our cornmeal. So, shift click, bam. We had plenty of wheat, which we're getting low on now. We're going to have to fix that. So now we can make our gravy. Simple, straightforward. Boom. There we go. Got a full stack for gravy. Throw that in here. And now, if you look for it, we should be able to make the biscuit, which requires the butter, the dough. Wait, did we already make the biscuit? Uh, no, we didn't. We skipped at the actual final product of making the biscuit. That is kind of humorous. So, we got our biscuit now. And now if you look, biscuits and gravy. Boom. We now have 64 biscuits and gravy. To go with the biscuits and gravy I already made as an experiment to make sure I could get there. So, now we got the biscuits and gravy portion of it. Now we just got to do the grits and the, a few other things, which arguably are not difficult by any means. So... Let's keep looking into what we need. So we're going to need cornmeal. So for cornmeal, mortar and pedestal, and some corn. So let's take our corn out of here, because we need to make sure we have access to it. And there's our cornmeal right there. So let's make all the cornmeal we can, because we're not going to be able to do a full one, I don't think. And I get that. So we'll throw the cornmeal in here. And so we have our cornmeal. We don't... I think we have some milk, but we're definitely going to need some salt. Because I'm sure we used all of our salt. So let's throw that salt back in there. Always need more salt, right? So we can now make grits successfully. So let's make as many grits as we can, which will be a total of nine. We'll throw them in there. Now, if you look, we're, mi we're missing pork chops and toast because we already have eggs so we got to get those last two pieces to be able to make this a complete setup here so let's for starters make some bread okay so we got 10 pieces of bread that was a very inefficient way to make bread but it will work for now and then we need to make toast so we're gonna need butter again which is salt heavy cream so we should have enough we make, let's say, five sticks of butter. We should be able to make now toast. There we go. There we go. Made five pieces of toast. So now, let's take our egg that we have and let's find a pork chop. We gotta have a pork chop. So let's go grab a pork chop. Let's not kill our breeding stock right now let's in fact let's enhance our breeding stock by feeding it here so we don't have pork chops we have lamb and mutton okay so we do have some carrots ready very very nice grab some of these carrots let's go let's go help these guys increase their numbers they are our friends here there we go. Oh, we gotta grab our XP. 
Boom, got it. So now let's go search for a pig. It's nice having a jetpack. It's really, really nice. So I'll be able to search and find a pig fairly quickly for us to be able to use for our recipe. And we'll cook it right up. I wanted to test the oven anyway. We haven't tested it out. And I think it would be nice to test it out with like the actual additions. Um, tiny coal. So where, oh where are you hiding, Mr. Piggy Pig? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Well, they're being quite elusive. So what I'll do is, I am going to uh, go off camera for a minute until I can find a pig, and then I shall return. So I found a whole cluster of them, as you can see here. Let's feel bad for them, because that's the first one we've had to kill. We don't, we don't like to, um, oh no, he's running, he's a good runner, there we go, these pigs are in fairly good shape, we're going to take all of them, okay, now the final one, there he is, and we got 16 chops out of that, which should provide enough for us. So let's head on back. So we're back. And we were able to accomplish getting the pork chops. And I already cooked them up using the tiny coal, which worked out really, really well. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to, um, and I already put them in the fridge, so they're good to go. We have our 11 cooked pork chops. And so the plan here is to make it and see what it is like. So. I've already made it once by accident, so you know, you always gotta make that accident. And I damaged myself to show you guys how effective this can be. So let me eat one here. And it is an amazing healing tool. There you go. So it worked really, really well, and it gives you strength and resistance, which is pretty amazing. So if that's not an end to a good episode, I don't know what is. But. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you can. And comment below with anything that you might have to say.